Hey, look, there's a roof. A roof. What am I doing on a roof? What am I doing here painting this thing here on a roof? Well, I'm on a ladder, that's where I am. Hey guys, we're here at Wabasabi. Who likes um, Japanese food, bit of sushi? Uh, my mate Eddie's opened it up and we're in Rabina. Gonna go in and have a look. All right, we are just about to be treated here. Uh, what do you think, Paul? Oh, mate, so far, I love it. It's great. Yeah, it's really authentic, and Eddie's been an, uh, an operator for like many, many, many years. So if you come on in, you're going to really see the difference in the quality and the taste. So I'm looking forward to it, and I know the boys are looking forward to it as well. Half the fish is already He's already had 10 pieces of sushi. Oh, there he is. Half the fish. All right, Paul's got a nice um, gift for Eddie. He's, he's going to give him one of the boards that his wife made, Flow Station. Show us what you've got there, Paul. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, love it. Double hand one. This one? I see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Happy. Good luck with the opening. Yeah. Paul, you have to get your affairs in order. We give you three to four weeks. I said, what do you mean? Yeah, it's three to four weeks. We saw it off today. Yeah. But part of my rehabilitation is my wife, um, she's an artist, and she started to, because I, I was shaking, I couldn't do anything, and I had physiotherapy eight times a, a day. Yeah. But she started getting into the art and that kind of thing, and it taught me how to, to do the waves. I mean, this is one of her pieces, wow. but she's incredible, mate. Yeah, it's just what she creates, it's amazing. Yeah, good one. Now, I've got a one, two, three, four, five. What's the biggest number? Five. Five, actually. The eight is the biggest. Then you've got the two. Then the three. The four. Then the five's the small one. Yeah, you got the small one, yeah? This is our memorabilia room. We've got a whole lot of uh, autographed jerseys, boxing gloves. Uh, a lot of AFL stuff here from the Gold Coast. Who's that boxing club signed by? Uh, money, uh, not Money Mayweather. Oh, that'd be nice, yeah. It's um, Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard? Yeah, Sugar Ray Leonard. We've got a couple wow. of boards. We've got a Buddy Franklin ball, a couple wow. of Zion and Williamson jerseys. Um, got some cool ones here too from like a couple of local guys like PJ Marsh. He's come into the store. Um, the All Bucks. Aaron Smith, he's done that one for us. Wow, Thanks, All Bucks. Thanks, Blunt Boys. That's a game worn jersey against Great. the French. Um, we've got a State of Origin jacket. From PJ oh, State of Origin. Yeah. Um, all of our boxes here. So you've got everything from UFC, NFL, soccer, um, yeah, even some AFL and rugby league in here as well. All your training cards. Um, uh, single cards. All your Yo. sports. NBA. Pokemon. Um, we've got Marvel. I knew you wouldn't be I'm short. Um, well, it's been <laughs> Paul's son, Jamie. <laughs> So we knew Jamie would be able to talk. That's it. <laughs> Up here we've got all of our trading card games. So you've got your Yu-Gi-Oh boxes. We've got Dragon Ball Z, Digimon, uh, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Elite Trainer boxes, Booster boxes, uh, all your single packs. All, across all the single well. packs. All the single packs. We've got the NBA Jam Machine. Oh man, man this brought back memories when I was 15. That's playing right. with Matt Andrew. That's it. Man, that was awesome. Right. Crunch. Yep. Statues. Oh, yeah. Upstairs, we've got all the Lego. You got that? Yeah, let's, let's go upstairs and have a quick look. So, who's um, the typical customer, Jamie? Um, we've got all sorts of people. We're pretty close to a school, so we've got a lot of school kids in here, but um, most of the Lego, including the trading cards, they're quite collectible these days, so the price ranges you know, aren't as what we were quite yeah, used to right when we were kids. But, um, yeah, all sorts of people come in. Obviously, got massive range of Lego. Most of the licensed stuff you see: uh, Toy Story, Marvel, Star Wars, The Beatles. Well, wow, a lot of colour. Shoes you can build. Yeah, it's a look. Oh right, right. Superstars. What about online action? Is much happening? Uh, yeah, online? we've got the website. Um, we do a lot um, of online breaks. Uh, we open cards live for people, so. Can even come through to this room here. What's going on here? This is where we do our live streams. Oh, nice. So we set up in here. <laughs> Got all the different camera angles. We open cards live in here on stream on Twitch six nights a week. Twitch? Yep. Uh, it's a live streaming platform. So uh, cool. So 
Uh, all the other different cards out here as well. Uh, MDA boxes. We've got some massive cards in here. This card here in the middle, one of those just sold yesterday for 28,000 US dollars. It's only 500 of that card in the world. It's a Steph Curry rookie card. You gonna do a, do a deal on it? <laughs> gonna do, uh, yeah, we're gonna try. Just smooch it website, show yeah. a deal on I'm that. I'm actually talking to a guy in the US at the moment about a deal on it. So. Oh, nice. Um, lots of other Lego in the shop as well. Um, we've got lighting kits, which you won't normally find in your Lego store, so you can um, you know, lighten up your Lego pieces. Yeah. Nice, and what's going on here? You've got Tonight we've got our trade game. night. So every Friday night we put on a barbecue. Uh, you can come down, bring down your cards, Pokemon, NRL, AFL, whatever it is you've got. There's always people here and we're always trading. So it's a good night every Friday from 6 to late. 6 to late, yeah, that's it. It's like 10 o'clock. Here's the traders. Big cheer for the traders. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. It's all good. The energy was there. But yeah, that's about it. That's um, the shop. So we're in Varsity Lakes on the Gold Coast. Um, come down, the shop's open six days a week. The only day we're closed on Mondays. Um, all their trading hours are on social media, Blunt Collections. Paul's done himself a bit of mischief here. He's been pulling this root here out with the ute, and boom, the walls come down. He's done himself some mischief, trying to help out. Well, the root had already been attacking the wall, though, Troy. That's the thing. Far out, man. Anyway... Humpty's going to be put back together, a bit like the car the other day when smashed it up. These things happen. Accidents happen. We're going to put it back. But I've got such a good uh, prior history of landscaping, I know what I'm doing. So. Paul's got a very, very good track record. In landscaping. In landscaping. Or, or building. And criminal. Yeah, <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> As you can see, Paul's up at the crack of dawn, working on the yard. And the retaining wall is back to good. What do you think, Paul? Mate, uh, yeah, it was a nice little morning workout. But, uh, mate, I've got to be honest with you, I think it actually looks better than it did originally because uh, we've closed up a lot of the gaps that were in there. I think the plant roots were what was pushing it over, mate. And then when we pulled the plant out, um, basically sort of loosened up a lot of the blocks. So we had to go in there and just uh, rebuild what the uh, roots were already taking apart. Yo, 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 here I am. I'm, uh, where am I looking? I've got to get this right. If I look there, is that into the camera? Or if I look there, that's not looking into the camera. So if I look at myself, I can't look at myself. I've got to look in there. Anyway, look, I'm a tradie today. I'm helping ball out. This is a fine looking shed you've got here, sir. It's so well packed. How do you feel today? What have, what have you got to say? Uh, to people Troy, of Australia you know, personally today? between you, me and the gate posts, I don't really can't give two fucks about the shit, to be honest. <laughs> uh, nor getting up at this time of the morning to go and paint some sort of sorry asses, fucking front walls. And, so uh, you snagged this um, little job off air task, all right? Yes, mate, I have. Yeah. What's the rundown with this job today? Mate, it's a, uh, it's a nice little house. Um, uh, went and saw a uh, yummy mummy and... Uh, Got a, uh, a job done, and um, yeah, mate, it's uh, it'll come up really good, I believe. The gables, just got to paint the gable at the front of the house, and then uh, do the front door for them. Bit of timber work there, bit of sanding, a little bit of light sanding. Really lacquer it. Hopefully, this rain will go away and come back another day. Yeah, you can see here it's a bit of an overcast day. And uh, yeah, you've got an apprentice today, Mr. Troy Stars, coming with you. Well, on... mate, he's he's a magic yes. man. He's a magic man. So what I'm hoping he can flick his fingers. And tell me where I put my keys to start. Where did you put your keys? I don't know. That's where we start. Right. Um, yeah. All right, it's a bit of rain around. We're ready to go, ready to roll. Oh, we're getting the, the beast. Here they are, here they are. Find the keys, we're ready to go. Well, we're here on the job. We're here on the job. We're doing a ripper of a job, hey, Paul? Yeah, mate. Uh, it's a bit of, bit of work. You can see over this side as well, we've got that whole wall. We've done that wall. The guy that lives here, Aaron, super cool dude. Business coach, so... I was having a bit of a chat to him about uh, a few mentors and some tactics with Smooch It, and I like what he said, so I reckon we might invite him to do an interview, find out a little bit about his coaching and what he offers, and get some tips for you guys. Hey, look, there's a roof. A roof. What am I doing on a roof? What am I doing here painting this thing here? On a roof. Well, I'm on a ladder. That's where I am. Helping Paul out. Look at me. I look like a tradie. Bloody hell, Paul. I'm on a roof. <laughs> I'm off the roof soon.
How long have you been a painter for, Paul? <sighs> Too long, mate. I painted for about uh, seven or eight years for Barilla Homes and Homes of Paradise, which I own part of Homes of Paradise. And, uh, mate, uh, yeah, I didn't know what I'm missing out on all these years of giving it a miss. Paul of all trades here, everyone. I'll have a crack at anything, mate. Speaking of crack. Even if that, if that's Speaking of the crack. You have a crack. You have a crack of anything, huh? Don't do that. You have a crack of anything? That's a tender point with my wife, the old crack hanging out, mate. She doesn't like it one little bit. She's having fun. The body's hurting. The body's aching. The mind's not giving up yet. Still going. Have a go. Looking a bit tired, Paul. Yes, mate. Yeah, been at it. Oh, got right. I got up at four thirty this morning. A few cramps. Yeah, oh, I had them in my hands when I was painting the uh, painting the tops and the bottoms, mate. But all good now. Holding together. Here's oh. Aaron. Yo. Aaron's the man. He's hey. um, we're doing the job for him straight out of Air Tasker. Loving it. And uh, Aaron's a business coach. So yeah, I've, not today. Not today, but I've mentioned to Aaron about doing a little interview with him just to get the goods on what he knows, what he doesn't. But I'm um, pretty impressed with what he's saying so far, so I'll try and come back in a couple of weeks and do a little interview. Awesome, looking forward to it. Mate, just give us one business tip while you're here. What do you got? Put you on the spot. Be different. Be different, yeah, I like it. Awesome, mate. We'll talk soon. Cool.